We've also said we must, and that is key, that you can have an organization that is funded by outside people, but you have an agenda, but you say outside people must fund the programs. Because outside people will say, I will fund this program, which is their hobby horse, or their international relations issues. <clears throat> so we've, we've said we must fund our own organization. And I'm very proud to say, yes, a decision was taken last year that we must fund our organization for operations, 100%, for programs, 75%, and for peace and security, 25%. So, and they've not ended there. This year they've agreed what method to use to fund. So I think for me that's, um, that, that's one of the best things that can happen to the continent because the pipe, who pays the piper calls the tune. So if you don't fund your own organization, somebody else funds it, but they control it. So we've also introduced the academy at the AU because if we say that we need to skill people, even the people who come to the AU must understand the AU must be skilled. So we have established an academy there. We have also looked at the financing issues. We have changed rules on procurement. So there is a whole range of things we've done. Of course, there are things that still need to be done. As I say, you can't do everything in four years. There's still a lot of things to strengthen the AU Commission itself. We are, I'm going to Kigali from here next week to look at what reforms need to take place at the AU including whether we need to change the, to amend the Constitutive Act to strengthen some areas that we have identified as weak.